Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Also, good morning. I'm super sleepy. I just woke up. A few days ago, I shared um, some of the products that I use in my skincare routine, and you guys wanted a more detailed version of it, so I was like, why not film a video? And today, I will be showing you my current morning routine and all the steps and all the products that I'm using. All the products that I'm using, I'll write them down below in the description box as well as try to find links. I think you can find links for most of them. And a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I do collaborate with some of the brands and some of the products that I will show you uh, are gifted, but the opinion still remains my own. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Step number one is to put my hair in a bun or something. So first step is cleansing the face. Also have this amazing pimple on my forehead that showed up yesterday, uninvited may I add. So first thing I'm doing is I will be cleansing my face. So I'm currently using the Pixi Glow Tonic Cleansing Gel. Um, I pretty much like this gel. I've been using it for on and off for about a year I think and I do like it, it does have glycolic acid just like the toner and I love the toner as you know uh, the only downside is that it doesn't foam which I don't really like but it's still a pretty good cleanser so as I said it doesn't really foam and I'm just gonna wash it off and now I'm, not, I'm gonna leave my face wet because I'll be using my exfoliant so I'm currently using the Dermalogica Micro Daily Micro Exfoliant which I absolutely love so this has rice based powder, acrylic acid, rice enzymes and the effect of it is immediate it tightens the skin, it brightens the skin it removes all the dead skin cells and all that so it's this powder texture now you can tell and basically, you just add a few drops of water and you just mix it all. So it turns into paste and then you just add it on your skin and then you apply it in circular motions. Now I'm just gonna leave it for a minute before I take it out. And now I'm gonna rinse this off with lukewarm water. And you can tell like the, the face is instantly brightened and much smoother, but it's still, um, it doesn't leave the skin dehydrated, which is great. Next one I'm going to use is the active uh, oxygen from Vitastar. So this is kind of new in my, I mean new. I added it recently, I didn't use it. And then I saw that a lot of people use it here in Macedonia. So I was like, why not give it a try? And honestly, it's so good. So I just spray it on my face and basically this uh, hydrates the skin because it's just active of oxygen, there's nothing in it. It also has, uh, it does infect, this in fact, it disinfects the, uh, the area so it kind of kills off all germs and bacteria so it's pretty good. I use it actually throughout the day whenever I want to freshen up my face, I just use this. And now I'm just gonna let that kind of dry before I apply the toner. But yeah, you can see that like the daily micro exfoliant really does wonders. Okay, that for toner, my ultimate all-time favorite is the Pixi Glow Tonic. I absolutely love it. From all the tonics I've tried, this is by far the best. Uh, a lot of people don't like it because it does have fragrance in it, but to me personally, it doesn't really bother me that it has fragrance. So it has glycolic acid, which means that it exfoliates the skin and it leaves it glowy. It's definitely worth the hype. So, uh, But I only use it in the daytime because using it twice a day, I think it's a bit too much. So, And now it's serum time. So currently, I'm using two serums. One is the Buffet Serum from Purito, which is a Korean skincare brand. And I've been using this for a week or so now. And so far, it's shown to be really nice. And I'm also mixing it with the Ordinary 
10% niacinamide and 1% zinc. And I really like the niacinamide in The Ordinary, although they kind of changed the formulation so it's a bit more sticky than it usually was. But I personally still think it's it's a really good niacinamide. I just applied this all over my face. Now since yes, last night I was still lazy to do my jade roller and like the proper night skincare routine and just kind of rushed into it. I'm super puffy this morning. So I'm just gonna add my Detoxify Eye Depuffing Eye Patches from Pixie Beauty. Uh, these I think are based on aloe vera. And I use them when I'm just all puffy and I want to get rid of the puffiness faster than just to wait. Okay, so I'm gonna keep those for 15 minutes, I think. Yeah, it should be like 15 to 20 minutes. So, uh, but in, in the meantime, I'll just have my morning tea and read. But before that, I'm just gonna do an acne treatment for the wonderful pimple I have on my forehead. So I'm using the Dr. Bachev um, Pro Acne Lotion. Uh, this is a Macedonian brand, so I don't think you can find it outside of Macedonia. But I've been using uh, these since um, high school and it's honestly the best thing out there for acne treatment. So I just put the lotion on the spot. So it does thin a bit, but it's fine. And then I'm just gonna let that for a few seconds before I apply the Pro Acne. So from the same line, they also have a uh, cream. So I just add the cream. Okay. And now I am gonna go and enjoy my morning tea okay so let's see so i have my tea and yeah i'm just gonna wait for 15 minutes to pass and i'm gonna finish the book i'm currently reading which is Guns, Germs and Steel by Jerry Diamond and I absolutely love it. I think it's such an amazing book and I have like, I think less than 100 pages. So, yeah, okay, the light is a bit bad here. Um, yeah, see you in 15 minutes. Okay, so 15 minutes have passed. I'm going to remove the under eye patches. I don't know if you can tell, but the dark under eye circles have reduced and my eyes are now puffy. Uh, now the next step is to apply moisturizer in the Murad Nutrition Charged Water Gel. In the summertime, I prefer to use water-based moisturizers. My favorite one is the Cleaning 72 Hour Moisture Surge, but unfortunately I can't find it anywhere in Macedonia. And I can't order it online because the post office isn't working because of Corona. So I'm just trying this one out. Based on the ingredients and the texture, it's quite similar to the Clinique Moisture Search. So I will test it out and see. But so far, I'm liking it because it does keep my skin hydrated throughout the whole day. And also, in summer, I like to nourish my skin a bit more because from the heat and all that. So I'm currently using the Redwell nourishing serum and I just add two to three drops um, basically you can use it on your own you can, you can use it on its own or you can mix it with the moisturizer I prefer to mix it with the moisturizer because I find it not to be moisturizing by itself so I just prove that I have better results if I mix it with my moisturizer and the last step would be to apply sunscreen, not leave the house without SPF cream, not just in summer, but all year round. I'm currently using the Pareto Comfy 
water sunblock which is SPF 50 PA plus 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 uh, I'm not gonna put it right now because tip the best time to apply sunscreen is 20 30 minutes before going outside so I won't be going outside in at least like two to three hours so I'm just gonna apply this then but I've been using this lately and I absolutely love it it's water-based so it's super light you don't feel don't feel like greasy on your face uh, it also blends in nicely it doesn't leave like a white layer which is perfect so I absolutely love it and that is pretty much my current uh, morning skincare routine I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos also if you want me to share my current nighttime routine comment down below so yeah see you next time